Hello, this is Dr. Gay. I wanted to talk to you about the difference between an MRI and an MRA. Lots of people ask, what is the difference? What does MRA mean? So an MRA is just an MRI scan that is post-processed to really see the blood vessels, not really look at the brain tissue or other tissues. That stuff is pretty much subtracted off and you're left with just the blood vessels. So it really is just an MRI scan looking at the vessels, so we call it an MRA, MRI angiography. So on a typical MRI, here we go on the left-hand side here, we see the brain parenchyma, we really, we really don't see the blood vessels very well. When they show up, it's right back here in the middle, there's a little dark black triangle, and this is flowing blood and a dural venous sinus. Anything flowing, typically an MRI, is just black, invisible. Back over here, we see a couple blood vessels in the very back here, this round dot, a little round dot here. These are the vein and artery of the popliteal region, and you see how they're just black because there's no signal. Because the blood is flowing out of the plane, and it doesn't give any signal. And you can see other things are really bright like this fluid. So typical MRIs have just dark uh, blood vessels. Here's another MRI. You can do all sorts of sequences. The sequence, sequences can look different, like fluid can be bright, can be dark. So now MRI, to take advantage of the flowing blood, uh, you can post-process. And the truth is, it's very complicated what, uh, what happens, where they can take that flowing blood and make it bright instead of being dark. And we do the post-processing, like on the left here, we see an MRI of the brain. All the brain parenchyma is invisible. The only thing we're left with is the blood that is flowing. So here we go. These are the blood vessels. This is an MRA, looking at the arteries, and the brain parenchyma is just invisible. Here's one of the neck on the left-hand side here. You can see the blood vessels of the neck going on up. Here's the brain, neck, chest area. And a CTA and MRI are very, very similar. Similar as CTA is just a CT scan where they subtract everything off and we are left with just the flowing blood vessels. And they look really, really similar to one another. And I'll finish with a little example here. This is a view of the abdomen. The abdominal aorta is coming down here. This is an MRA. And everything's subtracted off except for the things that have contrast. So this is contrast within the abdominal aorta. We gave contrast and the densely opacified aorta shows up as bright. You can see the blood vessels coming off here. And look over here, there's a little round ball. This is the splenic artery coming off of the aorta going up to the spleen. The spleen is right up here. And that little round ball is a splenic artery aneurysm. So thank you very much.